Alicia from Alicia's Appetite and today I'm going to show you how to make one of the easiest breakfasts that I make all the time um, and it's a crispy breakfast sweet potato dish. It's so easy and I thought I would make a video to show you just how easy it is. So all you're going to need is some coconut oil, some cinnamon, salt and pepper, and an already baked sweet potato. At the beginning of the week I will just throw a bunch of sweet potatoes in the oven so that they're baked and ready to go and put them in the refrigerator so then during the week all I do is pull out a cold sweet potato but it's already baked and that's key to making sure that this dish will turn out the way you want it to. So you have your little pan and turn the heat to about medium and put about a tablespoon or so of coconut oil into the pan. We're basically just going to fry the, the sweet potato in the coconut oil and it'll tear it off. So what we're gonna do is let this melt. You want a good old tablespoon so that when it melts, it covers the bottom of the pan really well. And then the sweet potato will come onto it perfectly. So when I cut into my sweet potato, you know, cut off the ends, get rid of the ends, and then I like to cut it in half. See how mine's already cooked? And then you can get it as messy as you need to here, but just start taking off the skin. Sometimes the skin comes off really easily, um, and sometimes it's not very easy, like right now. It's not very easy. So I'm just going to kind of cut into it and cut it off. And get the skin off. You can leave it on if you want to, um, but with this dish, it's kind of a little bit better without it. Now, as you can see, the coconut oil is melting perfectly over there. And if you want to save some time and hassle with what I'm doing right now, you can take off the skin right as it comes out from the oven when you're baking the sweet potato. Makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so I have all this skin off. I'll just put that off to the side and get rid of that later. Then I'm just going to cut these into small bite-sized pieces. And I just kind of like to go down the middle, and I cut mine into three lengthwise, and I'm going to go back and just cut it into little pieces, just like that. that you want them to. And the key here is to make sure that the oil is all over the pan and that it's warm. It's all about medium, like I said. And then once you put it on the pan, you don't want to flip it over. So it's just going to kind of stay on this side to cook on the one side. Make sure that they're all laying flat there. And once they're all laying down to your satisfaction, like on one side, don't touch it. Just let it go and you'll know when you need to flip it. So now you just wait. Usually I'll do some handstands, walk around the kitchen. We're all clean. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and I haven't touched the sweet potatoes. They've just been frying away on the one side and now I'm going to flip all of them to cook on the other side. So you can kind of see the difference. That's one side and these are the unflipped sides. So you can do it diligently or you can just kind of flip it over like I do. And just let them go for the other side. 
they don't take as long on the second side. Um, but you know, they still have to cook with that. So once you have them flipped, just let them hang out and get ready for the other part of your breakfast. When your sweet potato is cooked, take it off from your pan and put it on a plate with a little sprinkle of salt, pepper, and as much cinnamon as you'd like. Um, there should be just a little bit of coconut oil left over in your pan. I personally love to leave it there and throw some eggs in it and fry my eggs in the coconut oil. Might as well just use it all up, right? So with this dish, I just scrambled some two eggs and cooked it in the coconut oil um, and when it was halfway cooked I spread a little almond butter on it folded it over flipped it and had myself a small almond butter omelet on the side with my sweet potatoes and some oranges so this was so good so easy and I hope that you enjoyed it and thanks for watching my very first awkward video see you next time Bye!